Have you ever thought about the crucial role digital evidence plays in modern forensic analysis? Think about it. In this digital age, digital evidence is rapidly becoming the core of any forensic investigation. It's everywhere, from emails and social media interactions to cloud data and browsing histories. And with the explosion of smart devices, the scope of digital evidence is only growing. But here's the rub. Digital evidence is also delicate and easily compromised. A misplaced click, an ill-timed power surge, or even a slight alteration in metadata can render it useless or worse, misleading. This is why it's absolutely crucial to handle such evidence with the utmost care and precision. And then there's the legal side of things. Mishandling digital evidence can not only botch an investigation, but also lead to legal repercussions. This is where the ACPO guidelines come into play, offering a robust framework for handling electronic evidence. The ACPO guideline, now known as the NPCC guideline, is a revered standard in the realm of digital forensics. Let's delve into the ACPO guideline and its four key principles. This guideline, originally created by the Association of Chief Police Officers and now carried by the National Police Chiefs Council, NPCC, is a beacon of best practice in dealing with computer-based electronic evidence. The very first principle is all about preserving the original data. It insists that no action taken by law enforcement agencies or their agents should alter data held on a computer or storage media, which may subsequently be relied upon in court. Keeping the data intact is crucial to maintaining its evidential value. Next, we have the second principle that underscores competence. If a person finds it necessary to access the original data, that person must be competent to do so and be able to give evidence explaining the relevance and the implications of their actions. This means that the person should be well-versed in the technical aspects of dealing with electronic evidence and fully understand the potential consequences of their actions. The third principle is about documenting everything. It requires creating an audit trail or other record of all processes applied to computer-based electronic evidence. This documentation should be so detailed and comprehensive that an independent third party could examine those processes and achieve the same result. It's a safeguard that ensures transparency and reproducibility. Lastly, the fourth principle emphasizes accountability. It assigns the responsibility of ensuring adherence to the law and these principles to the person in charge of the investigation, the case officer. This principle reinforces the importance of leadership and accountability in the process of handling electronic evidence. These four principles, in essence, can be summarized as change nothing, know what you're doing, document everything, and there is someone to blame. They form the cornerstone of the ACPO guideline, guiding the process of identifying, preserving, and recovering digital evidence. By following these principles, forensic analysts can ensure that the electronic evidence they handle is reliable and admissible in court. The first principle of the ACPO guideline is straightforward. Change nothing. This principle is crucial because it dictates that the integrity of the data must be preserved at all costs. Any alteration, no matter how minor, can have serious implications for the admissibility of the evidence in court. This principle is a reminder that the original state of the electronic evidence is paramount. It must remain untouched and unaltered. In essence, this principle underscores the importance of maintaining the original state of electronic evidence. The second principle centers on competence. In the realm of digital evidence, this is not a mere suggestion, but a requirement. If it becomes necessary to access the original data on a computer or storage media, the individual doing so must possess the necessary skills and knowledge. They should be able to thoroughly explain the relevance of their actions and the implications thereof. It's not just about doing the job, but understanding the why and how behind it. Competence is, therefore, a critical factor when dealing with electronic evidence. The third principle is all about documentation. In the world of digital forensics, leaving a clear paper trail is not just recommended, it's required. Every action taken, every process applied to electronic evidence must be recorded. This isn't just busy work, it's about transparency, 
It's about ensuring that an independent third party can follow your steps and reach the same conclusions. This is the essence of reproducibility, a cornerstone of scientific integrity. A proper documentation process ensures transparency and reproducibility in electronic evidence handling. The final principle focuses on accountability. In the realm of digital forensics, the case officer shoulders the weight of responsibility. They must ensure that every step of the process abides by the law and adheres to the ACPO guideline. This is not a responsibility to be taken lightly. It signifies the importance of every action, every decision made during the investigation. It's about maintaining the integrity of the evidence and ultimately the pursuit of truth. Accountability thus is a cornerstone of the ACPO guideline. The ACPO guideline provides a comprehensive framework for handling electronic evidence. It lays out four key principles, ensuring no changes are made to the data, accessing original data with competence, documenting all processes, and assigning a responsible case officer. Each principle is a cornerstone in maintaining the integrity and reliability of electronic evidence. By adhering to these principles, forensic analysts can navigate the complex world of electronic evidence with confidence and competence.